To mark Mental Illness Awareness Week, tonight we're looking at a new approach to lower the rate of suicide in this country. In 2022, nearly 50,000 people died by suicide nationwide. That's a record. In tonight's Eye on America, CBS's Nicole Skanga shows us how one veteran's offer to hold on to his friend's guns is now powering a movement. This Not many mental health movements begin inside a gun store. This safe is life-saving. Yes, ma'am, without a doubt. The story of why the rustic renegade came to care for hundreds of other people's firearms begins with this Iraqi war vet's return home. You failed at being a civilian. In my mind, I did. And I couldn't find my purpose if I wasn't a soldier, because my identity was wrapped up in what I did. Caleb Morse left behind 13 years of service for civilian life and opened up a gun shop in his native Louisiana. That's when purpose arrived on his doorstep in the form of an old army pal. One day he just shows up and he's like, hey, I don't want my guns anymore. Life really sucks right now. Is there anything you can do to help me? And I'm like, well, I can hold on to your firearms if it's that bad. I'll give them back to you whenever you say you're good. Word got out. More and more vets showed up saying, hey, look, I'm in a bad spot. Major depressive disorder with psychotic features, anxious distress, panic disorder, PTSD. These men agreed to speak with us anonymously about their struggles with suicidal thoughts. It got really bad really fast. At what point did you start thinking about, I've got firearms? When the thought crossed my mind, I didn't want to be here anymore. They found a lifeline in Morse. The next morning, I called Caleb and said, I, I, I need you to come get my guns. And uh, he showed up. I've lost more friends to suicide than I did in combat. Suicide by firearm is a uniquely fatal epidemic, with roughly 90% of attempts lethal. From 2002 to 2021, nearly 87,000 veterans died by gun suicide. That's 16 times the number of service members killed in action over the same period. I've worked at the VA for 17 years. So when the VA piloted the Armory Project, a suicide prevention program built around Louisiana gun shops, research investigator Gala True immediately phoned Caleb Morse. The number one thing that comes up all across the country for firearm retailers is this concern about civil liability. The two set out to pioneer a bill, legally shielding gun store owners who agree to hold on to firearms. A good Samaritan law where if you're really trying to help someone and you do everything, you know, within the bounds of the law, you shouldn't lose your business. Senator Kathy, yes. The bipartisan Senator, yes. measure Senator, passed yes. unanimously in Louisiana in 2022. There's now a similar Louisiana. law in Montana. Some of these are, are collectible firearms. To date, Caleb Morse has police. stored and restored over 400 firearms for roughly 50 gun owners. There's no way I would be here without Caleb. If firearm storage was a reality in all 50 states, what would this country look like? We're already the greatest nation. Man, we could be so much better. A collection unlike any other in America, powered by one man's promise to do right by others. For Eye on America, Nicole Skanga, Lafayette, Louisiana.